Hi everyone, it's uh, Margaret from Bliss Farm. Today I'm going to be doing my Halloween decor tour. And I am here in my office now, so we'll start with this room. Uh, first, I'll show, oops, I'll show that I do go all out. Um, this is my uh, screen saver. And I really hate that red light showing, but I don't know how to stop that from showing. Um, anyway, this is my uh, screen saver on my computer. It's from Hershey's. I'm not sure if you can still get it from their website or not. Um, Hershey Tricks or Treats, or yeah, Hershey's Trick or Treats .com. And it has sound effects. There's bats flapping and werewolves howling in the background. Um, it's pretty neat. And then my uh, wallpaper is, um, I believe this is just a vintage card that I found online, I think, that I'm just, I downloaded and, uh, you know, saved as a pick and I use it um, as my background. Then here uh, on my desk, I have a Glade candle. Uh, I'm not sure of the scent of that, but it's a fall scent. It smells like um, apples and cinnamon and caramel. Great scents to have for the fall. And this cute little mouse with a pumpkin and trick-or-treat bag. And the ghost is a uh, beanie baby, if you can remember those. That is a, uh, a beanie baby. And then here I have a candy jar or candy bowl. Uh, I believe I bought that at Target several years ago, and I have my ginger candies in it. So that covers my desk. Now over here, I have um, just a jar that I had, mason jar that I had painted with the leftover flowers that I have on my kitchen table. I made a fall arrangement with mason jars in there that I'll show you. These are the leftover flowers and my sweater pumpkin. And then here on the wall, I have a cute little sign. I don't remember where I got it. Beware Ghost Crossing. And I have that there. So now we will head into uh, my room. I have things everywhere. Um, you know, I just, I love to decorate in every room. Now here, and I forgot to show you in the office, I cut out these ghosts, or I'm sorry, bats, um, off of MarthaStewart.com a long time ago. Actually, I think it was in her magazine at the time, but I do believe she still has them, the template on her uh, website also. And you use, you cut them out of, or you download the, the template, trace them onto black construction paper, cut them out, and I just tape them inside the lampshades throughout the house, and they light up when you turn the light on, and naturally they, they show through. And um, I get a lot of compliments on them. Super easy thing, and oh, I don't know, can you, and I apologize, my walls are in horrible shape. This house needs a lot of work. But there you go. Let's see how cute those are. Okay. So now we will head into the living room and I'll show you the Halloween additions in that room. Okay. So here I'm at the end of my hallway and I have this uh, cute pumpkin hanging here. Uh, my mom actually gave me this. She had uh, gotten it from, I believe, a home party of some sort years ago, a long time ago. Um, I was just a maybe a teenager at the time, maybe even younger than that. But um, she gave it to me a few years ago, and this is where I decided to put it this year, the end of my hallway. And then here in my living room, these, if you watched my fall decor video, I call these my full mantle shelves. I would love a fireplace, but I don't have, don't think it'll happen in this house, but um, I added the ghost with the bat 
and I also added this little pumpkin and ghost here and this pumpkin was here but like I said I let my uh, pumpkins do double duty I had it turned around whoops <laughs> knocking stuff down I had it turned around for my fall decor and then when I decorate for Halloween I just turn it around to let the face show and then down here uh, I added this little these little guys I think they're just so precious uh, I don't know it's um, special friends by Sherry Sherry Buck Baldwin those are just adorable and I also added this little witch here and that is a dollar store find uh, my mom had bought for me a while back okay and now here on the front door I have this little free broom ride and I opened the door this is where I started my fall decor tour and I had mentioned that up here on the door I had this flipped around also this does double duty the other side is just a pumpkin plain pumpkin no face that says welcome and I turned it around for Halloween and it says trick-or-treat and it has the pumpkin face and unfortunately it's just too dark for me to show you anything outside right now and on the porch so I will have to make a separate video of that maybe now here again I have uh, bats in the lampshade and here on the couch I have a couple stuffed ghosts I believe these were from Hallmark and I just love those I think those are so precious uh, now here on my coffee table I moved my tray of magazines that I had here and this I also got at Hallmark years ago spells potions and creepy concoctions and when you open it <laughs> the witch says a couple different phrases I believe and it says away with bean and broccoli spear banish carrot sticks from here shun the dull and humdrum treats keep this vessel filled with treats and god that's so ugly it looks real it scares me <laughs> I don't really put any treats or anything in there I but I I just love it I have that there now this um, cabinet I actually forgot to show in my fall decor and I had these pumpkins here's one now this one I don't think I turned around I just had it like that the whole time but this one I had like I said turned around for the fall and then I just flip it around for Halloween and that's something my grandma had crocheted and the little ghost with the boo and then down here is another pumpkin glass pumpkin I believe that's a votive yeah you can put a votive candle in there but I usually don't um, put candles on my bookcases I'm afraid that it'll catch and then here on the video shelf is a cute little stuffed pumpkin and then here in the corner is a plastic pumpkin and um, he used to have a cord with a bulb at the end that you know you could put inside um, here the, the back of the pumpkin has the hole that you can put the light in and then um, light them up I need to get a new cord and bulb and uh, I haven't done that yet so then here I have this little um, setup I think this is just precious I wanted to try to light it up somehow but it just didn't look right I had um, uh, a battery operated little votive and I just I don't know 
it just didn't look right to me. So I put it back here, but you don't really see it very well. I'm not going to try to do it, turn it on t to show because uh, I'm moving this camera around so much that <laughs> I think I'm going to be making everyone sick. Um, then as I showed in my fall decor, I do have a stack of Halloween books here. Um, I don't have any really little ones living here, but um, these are from when my kids were young. And I just, I like having them out. I think they're cute. And I'm a big kid at heart. Anyway, I like looking through them. And I just think they add to the nice, um, you know, they add a nice touch to the Halloween decor. And then into my kitchen. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I don't have a light on here. But I did turn the plastic pumpkin around. So you can see the face. Sorry about that if you can't see that at all. Now here on the wall I added this. This is a Dollar Tree find. And oh, okay, hold on. I'm going to turn. Okay. So now we can see this um, with the light on. Like I said, this is a sign that I got at the Dollar Tree. Pumpkin Heads Deadly Diner, Tonight's Specials, Maggot Stew, Assorted Eyeballs, Monster Claws, Bloody Bites, Snail Slime Surprise. Don't forget to choke on our Witch's Brew, Creepy Cookies, and Coffin, coffin Cake. So I just couldn't resist that. I thought it was just so cute. And for a dollar, you can't beat that. And then down here, I have my Bath and Body um, Spice Pumpkin Cider Candle going. That smells delicious. And, <coughs> excuse me, here uh, I added <coughs> these cute, um, if skeletons can be cute, <laughs> uh, cups. And I have worms these are worms coming out of them I have two of them on there and the rest has not changed from my um, from my fall decor except that I did turn around the little pumpkins here um, to the face side and I have bats in this lampshade also and then here on the uh, furnace door uh, I have this cute boo sign wooden boo sign uh, I'm not sure where I got that I really don't remember and then I did say I was going to show this because it is in my fall decor um, nothing's changed here from the fall video but these are the mason jars that I painted for in here and this is where the flowers I had bought uh, flowers from the Dollar Tree divided them up and then I just used the leftovers for the uh, the jar that I showed in the beginning of the video for the office and uh, oh okay I did miss one thing so I'll come over here that is my I'm putting together a puzzle my son's helping me sometimes. I, it's one of my goals for this year was to put together a puzzle. I've been leaving it out, but uh, here I actually made this uh, last year. Um, I had seen uh, something like it in a um, country sampler, and it was just ridiculously expensive. So I had these little pieces of scrap wood in, around, laying around, um, punched the holes using a hammer and a, and a screw. Uh, probably not the best way to do a, a, a hole, but it worked. And um, I had a silver pen and I put Witches Spells 25 Cents Curses Extra. And I just have it hanging on the, uh, on the door here. But... Uh, that's that's it that is my uh, Halloween decor I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video and I'll be back soon and have a great day bye bye
Okay, I did forget one more thing. Uh, I am back in my living room, and if you can see, I'm pointing my camera up at the ceiling. I have bats and ghosts flying through the room. I have them hanging from the ceiling. I had made these with uh, fun foam and um, floss from the dollar store. I hung them from floss and cookie cutters. So I took uh, ghost and bat cookie cutters, cut them out of fun foam, punched a hole, strung through the floss, and we taped them up to the ceiling every year. So now. Um, I do believe I am truly finished with my Halloween decorating. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.